So, remember when you helped me get Cajun Kasumi. Greybox from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I got curious. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill. And we are on board the Normandy with Commander Shepard. About to go and visit Liara. See if there's any more conversation so to be Liara, had. Still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard? Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. All right, let's see if we have any new intel here. Uh... I guess not. Okay. And broker terminal, what have we got here? Oh boy, more stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, email from Kaylee Sanders to David Anderson. You won't get this for a while unless you find an extranet connection working on Earth. I've made it out to this weapon we're building. Oh, she's with, with working on the Crucible. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Kaylee to Jack. Oh, what? Okay, anyway, Jack. All right, we're not... If you want to read this, I'm, I'm going to just let you pause it. All right. Oh, really? An audio log? But it's not really audio. I'd have to read it. Hmm. All right, well, those are notes that you can read. Let's see if Liara's ready to talk. She Busy. Is. I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. <laughs> Gee, that young? Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. You can't give up. Or you could keep fighting. I know. It's just... difficult. Watching you get shot at out there. We finally have other leaders on our side, but... none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Oh, look at this response. It's all for you. Of course. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. I don't know if I could do this without you. Flatterer. I try. I'll see you soon, Shepard. All right. <gasps> warp unlocked. What do you mean warp? Was it warp ammo? Oh, well, anyway. 
You got anything else? <laughs> a Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. Okay. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Yeah. Let's go. At your service. Okay. What we need to do is go back to the Citadel because there is so much going on on the Citadel. And as I was coming down here, I got a surprise mission. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available. Oh, Lord. A surprise mission. There were some a Cerberus attack on the planet Benning. But we need to go to the Citadel. All right, here we are. We're still at Ataku, Ataku, however you want to pronounce it, in the Malazul system. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, just a planet in Nakos, I think it is. Don't quote me on it. All right, here. Oh, here's the mass relay over here. I'm sorry, I was just taken by the breathtaking starscape okay what was this the listening post all right we've been there all right so oh lord what's this one lit up okay this is where the Cerberus abductions are all right oh well, let's what is this another Prothean site yeah, I, you know, I really don't know the, the, the optimal order to play this game. And I do know, of course, that some of these things are timed. But let's, let's go back to the Citadel. And speaking of timing, um, you know, I was looking online. I think once you do priority to Chunka, a lot of these missions and stuff go away so because i think that's like the last part of act one and then act two begins and if you haven't done the right stuff in the right order then it's just not there all right let's dock um alliance docks or dock 42 oh uh, we'll do alliance You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Um... Let's go to the embassies. What's going on there? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. And I suppose while I'm here, I can go back to Huerta Memorial. I don't know if, um... Caden is out yet probably should be at this point all right so it's gotten more crowded a little bit wait is that is that Admiral Hackett join the fight but we it spoke is. about this already I told you about his mission and Okay, I'm being summoned by Commander Bailey. Did you hear that little bleep? And then there's a diamond on screen. Let's go and see what's going on. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. <laughs> Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. Just how unstable is she? This is part of Arya Talok's mission. We're trying to unite these mercenaries uh, and it would be, they would become a war asset under her leadership. So this is a good thing to do. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. 
Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. Hmm. Let me see her. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the C-Sec outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Okay. Two Paragon. Now I kind of wonder what the Renegade option would have been. Alright, let's go. Um, wait, who's this? John Dumball? Isn't this a Spectre? Commander Shepard. John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. Oh, hell. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Gota. Kasumi. I've been after her for years. Kasumi, you're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. Hmm. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. How bad could this be? I'm dealing with a galaxy-wide threat right now. You sure this is worth the time? Absolutely. The Hanar are a major financial power. Plus their territory buffers Solarian space, which would be vulnerable otherwise. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Okay. So, remember when you helped me get KD Greybox from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Oh my goodness, good to see her again. Okay. Um, is this the way in or out? Okay, this is in... Was I really going to dig up some information here in the office? And here again, you know, my complaint about the Spectre office and no Spectres. I mean, why wasn't John Dumball in the office? You know, I could have gotten a little alert that I needed to come in here, but I guess that would have spoiled the Kasumi thing. Anyway. Hanar Embassy Tracking spe Spectre Level Access Codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data transit records and personal communications for all employees in the Hanar Embassy. To avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, Embassy files must be accessed on site. Nav points of consoles or access points with relevant information will be tagged on the Spectre's Omni tool. Okay, good. Uh, Citadel entry authorization? Instructors at Grissom Academy have requested facilities on the Citadel to train young students who escaped the attack on the school, but who are not yet ready to join the older students in combat. Citadel authorities will find room for the students if a Spectre approves this request. Um, I'm authorizing that. Okay. Did I need to authorize this? No, I guess we're, we're good. All right. Military pardon for Normandy engineer. Engineer Ken Donnelly is in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance. He appears grief-stricken by the death of fellow engineer Gabriella 
Daniels, who died in a collector attack and was fully cooperative in giving all available evidence against Cerberus. He maintains that he joined Cerberus purely in an effort to save endangered colonists and that he does not pose a security threat. Spectre authorization could offer Donnelly a full pardon and reinstate him aboard the Normandy. Oh, people, this is another casualty because I did not go for the crew immediately after the collector attack. We instead did the um, Legion loyalty quest. I thought there was a, a pardon here that, you know, I was going to go and be able to do the Legion quest. And then, you know, I thought I could do at least one mission before harm you know, occurred to the staff and the, the crew, but no. So she's dead. Kelly's dead. The the chef is dead. I mean, you know, there, there was a lot of deaths. I really regret that. Anyhow, we're authorizing this. It's a good thing I came here. Ha 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 Okay, Citadel Defense Force updated. And what have we got here? Spectre requisitions. Anything new? Nope. All right. This is it. I don't know if we're locked into this um, Kasumi mission now or not. Let's go and visit Udina. Is there anything new here? Shepard, I expect you're curious about Major Alenko. Heard it on the news. How'd Caden go from sick bay to Spectre? Sorry you found out in such an impersonal manner. The Consul is in dire need of loyal agents. Alenko is among the first of many. <laughs> Good for him. It's about time someone recognized what Caden's capable of. Yes, a biotic, combat veteran with no PTSD, leadership skills, and most importantly, he is incorruptible. I will be keeping him close. Do not worry. The time, my schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? Hmm, well, let's investigate. What's the political situation? You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Get some results. That sounds like you won't succeed. I helped you into this office because I thought you'd be effective. You need a character or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. All right. Let's talk about council leverage. What's your read on the councillors? Any angles I could pursue? Councillor Irisa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical. She might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentius spoke with you. His homeworld is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. All right, I think we've had these conversations already. Let's go. I should go. I'll be here. All right. How, how Paragon is Shepard? All right. Still more renegade than Paragon if you're looking at the reputation bar over on the, the left-hand side of the screen. But I, I found it very difficult to play Mass Effect 3 as a total renegade because, I mean, you, <laughs> you really do need to make compassionate decisions in times of war. You just can't... Well, you can be ruthless. But I, I thought the outcome was often very upsetting. All right, who's this man? Yes, I have spoken to you. I fully understand the situation. 
Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. All right, Benning, we just got that mission. All right, so I guess this links to Benning. Maybe we can get some extra experience when we come back from there. All right, there was a marker. Terminal bypass. Bob, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone. And Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Olun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What, if I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Hmm. Okay. Is that... Oh, look, there's the Hanar now. And I think I was questioning whether or not there were Hanar in Mass Effect 3. Well, there there are. I'm not sure. It's it's kind of tricky how to really do this mission here. But anyhow, we at least we got the first part. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to Huerta and see if Caden is still there. He may have been released. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. See, Thane is still there. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. No. Caden is gone. All right. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I know the Ismar Frontier is safe. Ismar Frontier. I must have a mission. All right, so Caden is somewhere. I thought we'd, we'd get him back on our squad, I thought. Um, let's go to Presidium Commons. Is that Is that where I just came from? I don't know. The Presidium is so big. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. No. This is new. I remember there being a lot of good so, things to buy. Oh, wait, what? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? Oh! The first team inspector? Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, that's good advice. Let's sign up as Med Tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Mm, yeah, that does sound better. Okay, let's go. Kanala Exports. Kanala Exports. 
Oh look, fish. I hate to Canala I hate to do this. To offer goods for security and peace of mind. The book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in time. At Canala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Now we have something, I believe, that um feeds the fish. I can't remember what that was. But there should be something. goods for security and peace of mind. Thank you for shopping at Canala Exports. All right, so we got all the fish. You know, I I know it, it that's not important, but Hey. All right, so we have Elcos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Welcome to Elcos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Cerberus armor, ultralight pistol. Combine. If it exists, we carry it. Can we buy this? Sure. It's the duelist armor. Don't be left out in the cold. Isn't that what I'm Ask wearing? Our full service warranties. Please visit any of our Elcos Combine affiliate branches. All right, and, and all oh, it's Barlavan. Selling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. All right, Barlavon from the original Mass Effect. Uh, I guess that's all for this area. All right, let's see what else we've got here. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Uh-oh. Gnarl. Guess we need to go up here and check this out. Might be time for a save, too. Alright, what's going on in here? Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Aria brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. Mm, I'll kill you if you're lying. If this goes wrong, it's your ass. Quiet! I have to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Mm. Not him. Quill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Oh, wow. Got a bunch of stuff for that. All right, so we have the Blood Pack Mercenaries now. Okay, anybody else that I need to talk to? You know, so, sometimes it's nice, especially in, in this sort of situation with the war going on, to do stuff that's not 
like, well, I mean, this could have been life or death, but I mean, it, it's kind of calm and relaxing just going around talking. It, this reminds me, I guess, and it's the music in the background, too, of the original Mass Effect. Because they, they put this um, Citadel music back in the game. Was not in Mass Effect 2. I know what you mean. So I'm just roaming through here in case there are any missions or quests or Liara. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? Hmm, how could I forget? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Fish. <laughs> you should relax more. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself, Nelamin. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Really? See? I already talked to Barlavon. I, I don't like that I have to do stuff in a certain order. So are you done with me, Liara? Hello, Shepard. Yep. Alright, so I guess if we go back to Barla Barlavon now... We'll get something from him. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. Oh but what Lord, if these people time? again? We can't spend our lives. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Wow. We what, will. What happened to the, the dialogue? You. All right, so do whatever's best for your family. Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. Mm. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Wow. <laughs> All right, asking about sex from a machine. Uh, they pay attention? They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Hmm. It isn't gonna work. Wow, Shepard, no. Your company is what matters. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a complete paragon at the rate I'm going. But Edie, you're you're a shoe in for Joker. All right. Casa Fabrication. What have we got? Ooh, look weathering. at all this stuff. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime all right, I'll get this piercing mod. I better be careful that I don't spend all my money, though. For the best in the business, come to Casa. No armor, dreadnought. I don't want these models. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women all right, serving I think in the this alliance. Is good. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Isn't there a mission related to her? Excuse me. Yes. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. Oh, no. That, no, no it was no. that couple. My dream was to From be by Mass your Effect side, too. a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. That was but Char. But days must be with Krant, instead of kindness. Still, I will remember the perfume of your scent, and the soft touch of your petals. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Let my broken bones Build a wall around your garden, so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Mm, 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 mm. I did not realize that's who that was. I'm sorry. All right, so we're at the Nosastra Sporting Goods. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Uh, Shoot smart. Ooh. Shoot. Collector Nosastra. armor. Very ugly. Our selections include rare technology Headshot upgrades from damage. the terminus systems. Okay. Power magnifier. Oh, really? may apply for a professional discount. Well, we'll our pick this up. Include rare technology upgrades from the terminus systems. It enhances our biotics. All right, what else? Whoa. What have we got here? said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Look, he's not gonna leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I've sent you a full refund. Mm. Really? Okay. Yes. You mean it? Of oh. course I do. A full refund? Yes. Congratulations. The whole 15 credits. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks. Who is this guy? All right, so this is oh lord, is it Agor Munitions? What have they got? To Agor Munitions. It is Agor. I got it right. Okay, it's the Scorpion pistol. That's what we should have Agor gotten munitions. on Sirkesh, but because oh my goodness, Captain Kirahi didn't survive again. Another one of my mistakes. It wasn't given to us. All right, I don't like scopes on my pistols. Oh, look, we can lighten our um, assault rifle. New technology. Only by 8%, though. Hmm. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. All right. What is Cipratine Armory? Welcome what have they got? Assault rifle extended barrel. Proceeds Damage by 15%. That's Halloween. good. Okay, Armax shoulder guards, weapon damage, ammo capacity. Oh, a thermal scope. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna hope that these things drop for me in in battle and save my money. All right, let's head upstairs. I think we're done with this area. Uh oh. 
Oh, here we go. This is the um, the woman I think we talked about to Captain Bailey. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris in her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, 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 oh yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. Hmm, don't threaten me. It'd be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. I'll find another solution. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Okay, so that second in command, I think, is the person that we would need to speak with. I have no idea where that person's going to be. Wait, what? in peril if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. Alright, well we just picked up another mission. Alright, I think we're done with this area. If we switch from financial VIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, if you want to sell your shares of Walk, fine. But I'm not selling financial VIs while my homeworld burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling you the cost plus 3%. Fine. <laughs> okay. All right, so we've got more help. Oh, I need to go back and speak with Barla Vaughn. There is just so much to do on this citadel. All right, Barla, do you have something? Commander Shepard, it's been some time. Barla Vaughn, in case you've forgotten, financial advisor and an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. Hmm, I remember you. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The Broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Hmm, what do you get out of this? Are you passing on the location of these mercs for free? Their leader's offering a handsome commission for their rescue. Everyone wins, Commander. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in 
considerable flux. Well, it's not like I can go and do the extraction and come back, you know, within minutes. It's probably going to be quite some time, Barla. All right. Well, let's see. Let, let's see our next stop. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. All right. Let's go to the docks holding Good area. Home. Okay, what's this terminal got for us? Val, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajay. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers were? No. And I owe you for getting Kajay's gray box back from Hawk. But I can't do another collector base, Shep. The Reapers aren't people. I can't infiltrate a Reaper party and steal a big I win bomb. Hmm. All right. Okay, folks, we're going to end the video here and we will continue with more exploration on the Citadel in our next episode. This is Hill! And I'm out!